as this is gardens and welcome to our tutorial in this tutorial we're gonna um, continue from where we left at last year and uh, we'll end up doing a project based tutorial sort of okay so what I want us to create at the end of um, these tutorials that I'm gonna post about I'm gonna post about uh, eight tutorials and what we're gonna create is this fireball okay this fireball I've uh, got this file and you're gonna learn how to create this from scratch all right here yeah, so um, make sure you follow all my tutorials share them and uh, support uh, my sponsors okay so um, let's uh, just see what uh, we're gonna end up having okay we're gonna create this like I said and uh, let's see what we're gonna have um, if I go ahead and just render this short sort of thingy and um, that's what we're gonna end up with so it will be a, bit, a very fun um, end product that we're gonna do but in the meantime uh, we just need to learn how to end up creating this way how to press the buttons where the buttons are and all that extra stuff so yeah we're gonna um, yeah that's uh, what we're gonna do so let's just go ahead and uh, continue from where we left it I'm gonna close this bad boy I won't save that and uh, make sure you're in dynamics I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create a 2D container with an emitter. Okay, so if I bring up uh, the attributes editor, let's just put this to uh, 200 because it's my favorite number. Okay, we are going to start from. Um, we're gonna continue with shading. Okay, we did the we did the rest of the stuff, so let's uh, continue with shading. Now, um, if we could just go ahead and uh, play this bad boy shade this bad boy again I just I just like the word bad boy I don't know why because I'm not a bad boy myself so I don't know where I got it shade that guy and transparency transparency is pretty much the a way of uh, making it more prominent or less prominent you know having that little opacity thing into them it's, it's a little bit like opacity but different okay transparency there you go now um, if we go ahead and uh, render this with that transparency and uh, the way it is and take a little um, sort of a snapshot and pull him up, render again, see what happens. The transparency is non-existent, so you end up having nothing, but if you bring him down all the way, and render this bad boy once again that's what you're gonna have so it's a difference between these two all right so let's just bring the transparency to something normal like that and glow intensity glow intensity is the ability to make your fluid glow to add that glow sense of your um, fluid all right so um, let's just delete this and uh, yeah that's fine Glow right now, it's got no glow whatsoever. So, if you just go ahead and render this, this is what you're gonna get. And if you put the glow up, all right, if you put the glow up and render this bad boy, that's what you're gonna get. So, it's the difference between those two. Simple. We'll be flying through these tutorials um, just so we can create this bad boy. So, we'll be flying, okay? Pardon my um, bad manners. Um, drop off drop off shape drop off shape is uh right now let me just um we have to sort of it's uh, the ability to drop off your edges okay to drop off your edges as you can see here okay let me just go back to content method and density bring back to uh to gradient put that to gradient all right so if we go back to um drop off shape that's what that is okay it's softening up the edges sorry there's um people screaming outside so you know people talking outside but yeah i'll stop them and um, that's what drop off edge is now um let's just go ahead and put this back to uh, density back to uh dynamic grid and back down yeah so that's what that is color color is the ability to add color to your fluid okay you're gonna learn more once we start working on our project but for now color is the ability to add um, color to your fluid all right so if we add a few swatches here 
and um, let's say we, we make this one um, red this bad boy right here will make him green and uh, this one in the middle make him white why not now if we put this instead of a color input to constant make it density okay so um, we can also render this let me just render it because we can we own this shit so why not render it um, now if we okay that's what color is okay to add color to um, add that sort of detail okay usually this one is dark to, you know having dark edges or whatever but I'm gonna I'm gonna turn into red we'll learn about exactly how to achieve the um, realism of uh, the fireball or whatever once we start working on it okay so input bias input bias is uh, the ability to shift colors to see which color you want where okay that's what that is so if we just go ahead and render this again same bit longer to render this again and with those color with the, with the input bias then go back and increase the input bias and just go ahead and render that so it's sort of that shift all right so um incandescence incandescence i can't even say the word incandescence is sort of it, it's a bit of a mixture between glow and transparency that's what i think okay so but don't, don't take my word for it in that sense but it's a it's a ability to make it a bit shiny okay um to how can i put it to let's say you, you create a fire okay you create this fire that incandescence value let's say that swatch the yellow swatch will be this yellow bits okay then these red hot bits in here will be those ones all right now the black holes the the black holes the this swatch here will be these black holes that you can see in here these black spots that you can see in here okay that's what this uh incandescence thing um that's how it that's how it works okay and again there's that input bias that you can work with okay we'll, we'll learn more about this and if you want a big one you can always see it on here but yeah you'll learn how to use that once we start working on our, on our project temperature that's what we're dealing with when that can when um we're trying to mess around with the incandescence we have to um, put it in temperature and play around with um, our values okay so opacity Opacity is ability to um, actually have your hole, your sort of transparency holes um, as well. So you can um, have that, okay? See how that works out. You having that, uh, you can also increase the. Um, let me just go up. Container properties and my resolution to fifty. No hundred, simple. Be able to handle it. And um, go back to that one. Drop this guy and render this guy. See. So if uh, let's just uh, go to those things and just delete them. We've got one now. So um, input bias. If I render that with that um, sort of opacity value and bring back the opacity value i'm just thinking out loud here just playing with it okay render it again see so you get the point you get the point guys that one has got a different uh, opacity value and this one's got that so yeah, it's again it will make more sense once we start working on our um, project I just want to let you uh, guys know that it is there and it's there for you guys to work with and again you can change uh, whether you want to play with your uh, temperature your density your fuel it depends what you want 
Input bias again is um, switching. It's pretty much just switching. Mat opacity. Mat opacity. If I just uh, let me just bring this up. Close these things. I'm gonna bring this guy. We already have one. Yep. Matte opacity. This is ability to actually have. Um, the, we've got options. Okay. Let me again. I like rendering stuff, even though it takes forever. Just making sure. Just making sure we don't have this thing. We're gonna delete that bad boy. And um, uh, matte opacity. You, you can change to black hole. If you change to black hole and render it, that's what you're gonna get. Look at the um, alpha channel non-existent but if we change it to solid matte and um, render it it will just be like a, like a matte and you, you can it's you can get that matte and actually put something in there again we'll, we'll tell you I'll show you exactly how that works okay and we've got another one opacity gain which is um, a little bit different okay so and again we've got uh, matte opacity something that you can play around with here so these are, these are basic attributes that we have to know where they are and play around with them to achieve um, the realism, okay? We, we can't achieve a realistic fireball without knowing where this option is and uh, without knowing what each option does. So that's what, um, that's what we're working with here, guys. So I'll, um, if I bring, let me just bring back my recent file, okay? Uh, recent file, uh, fireball. Let me just bring that back and show you what um, the incandescence does. If I um, just play this, uh, play this back a bit, okay? Play this back a bit. It's you know it's very um, um, RAM intense uh, thing, so it uses up a lot of my um, resources. Mm -hmm. Now, incandescence. Look at this. To achieve that, let me just uh, render this as well while we add it. Not too good. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in and render this guy again. So, look at this color swatch. Uh, look at this color swatch and look at the fire. You can see what we're dealing with here you can see that swash here um towards the end is getting those because it's like it's not towards the end it's not like dark dark okay it's not like dark dark but it's towards the red dark so that's where these edges the, that's where these edges that's how we're getting these edges here okay that's what we're getting these edges and this swatch here okay which is this bad boy here that that's the color we're dealing with here. Okay, that's the color we're dealing with. If I bring back, if I bring up um, my digital color meter, I don't know those guys that are using Windows. Okay, this is just something. I'll finish my tutorial by the way. If you don't want to um, see what I'm, this is just extra lessons. Okay, if you don't want to waste your time watching this, please stop the video and uh, jump to the next one. So, if I select this, you see. R here, look at these values, R, G, and B. If I select this one here, see, R, G, that's uh, 61 and 14. And if I select this bit here, it's 61 and 16, look at that. So, it's pretty much what we're dealing with. So, this color swatch here will probably be these values here. Okay, now that yellow here, see, 190, look at these values, okay this one here 255 is this one here 254 so those are the values guys okay and if we um if we look at this one here um uh 255 43 3 okay these values will be here around there so um and again they vary they they've got the the, with that middle bit so it will be found this 
these values here will be found anywhere in between those bits so that's what incandescence is guys so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one thank you